Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, May 15, 2010. This week, how to view an image close up and full size at the same time in Photoshop and Elements. When you're tweaking details on an image, it's sometimes difficult to get a feel for how the overall results will look as you're working. To see both the details and the actual image at the same time, open the image in a second window in Photoshop or Elements. Zoom in on one document and set the other document to fit the window. As you alter the details on the close-up, you'll see the changes reflected in the other window as well. Here's how. Begin by opening an image or a project in your software. Once the image populates in elements 7 and 8, you're going to select View new window for and the name of your project here. In earlier versions of Elements you'll choose view new view. To view both of the images side by side in the editing window choose window images cascade or window images float all in windows and then click and drag the title bar of the images so that they're side by side. Next select one image and zoom in close so that you can see the details of that project. Select the second image and zoom out to see the entire image. In Photoshop CS3, CS4, and CS5, select Window, Arrange, and New Window 4 and then the name of your document. In earlier versions of Photoshop, choose Window, Documents, New Window, or View, New View. To view both of the images side by side in the editing screen, choose Window Images Cascade or Window Arrange Cascade depending on the choices in your software. Or simply click and drag the title bar of the images until they're side by side. Select one window and zoom in close to see the details and then in the other window resize it to fit on your screen. If zooming resizes your window, select Edit, Preferences, General, and then make sure that Zoom Resizes Windows is unchecked and then click OK. Now as you make changes to the one window, you'll see them reflected in the other window as well. I always enjoy hearing from you. Is there a technique that has you stumped? Email me at howto at designerdigitals.com with your idea and I may be able to help you with a video tip too.